income statement format, income minus expenses. Now we've been talking then about the format of the Schedule C, which is going to be a major financial statement form format, basically the income statement or profit and loss as opposed to the balance sheet, which makes sense for an income tax because we need to calculate the income minus expenses in order to apply then the tax. The major accounting methods we think about are the cash-based method, which is usually an easier method to use unless you have accrual components to it, like you have to deal with inventory accounts receivable and or accounts payable. We have the accrual method, which is typically thought to be more accurate and better for comparison year over year, which is why publicly traded companies are basically required to use the accrual method and then double checked upon that they are appropriately using it for conformity purposes through an auditing process so that investors have the most clear method possible for investment decisions. For taxes, then, we have to follow, of course, the IRS rules, which give us some leeway as to have some kind of cash-based method in some cases, or possibly have to use the accrual method in some cases, at least for part of our books, such as if we have inventory. So now we can think about a combination method, noting and remembering when we look at a cash-based method, for example, we're never really totally on a cash-based system, because the IRS is still going to force us to do some accrual things sometimes, such as the purchase of equipment, something that we can't just expense even if we paid cash for, but rather have to put on the books as a depreciable asset, allocating the cost over the useful life. And so we can also imagine that if we have uh, different cycles of our business, like the revenue cycle, and the expense cycle, for example, possibly a payroll cycle, cycle, then some of those cycles might be on more of a cash-based system, 